Hello, Curious. He was responsible for daring attacks and effective escapes. He masterfully stole not only jewelry, but also women's hearts. Arsene Lupin, because we are talking about him, was a gentleman burglar and the main character of books by Maurice Leblanc. And if you haven't had the opportunity to read them, it's definitely worth catching up because his adventures have won the hearts of millions of fans around the world. And now, they're on everyone's lips again thanks to Netflix's latest production, Lupin. And in what surprising way the books inspired the creators of the series? Did the charismatic Omar C perform well in the lead role? And most of all, why was Arsene Lupin hailed by some the most famous thief in the world of literature? And why is he associated with the cult detective Sherlock Holmes? Stay with us until the end to find out the answers to all of these questions. And also, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our interesting videos. When the mania of Sherlock Holmes and the books written by Arthur Conan Doyle prevailed in the world at the beginning of the 20th century, in France the chief editor of the newly created magazine had an idea. Hoping that the sales of his newspaper would increase rapidly, he decided to publish crime stories with a hero modeled on a famous detective. His adventures were to take place in a country on the scene and a writer named Maurice Leblanc was to be responsible for the creation of the character. Mr. Leblanc had written short stories in other magazines before, but he was not very successful, which is why he was so eager to accept the offer of a new job. And he did not know then that this decision would change his life forever. He quickly wrote his first story, The Arrest of Arsene Lupin. Many people like the story. The main character was an eccentric gentleman who immediately became known as a man with a thousand faces. His adventures became popular also because at that time, in 1905, an elegant burglar was on the prowl. Two years later, after a series of successful stories, Mr. LeBlanc published their first collection entitled Arsene Lupin, A Burglar Gentleman. And the fame of this fictional character has taken off for good. A total of 17 novels with his adventures and nearly 40 short stories were written. It was he who, on the pages of the books, was able to break even the most complex codes in safes, and he robbed the bad, dishonest, and the rich, and even defended the weak and the disadvantaged. All of this with your indispensable silk gloves. He was smart and seductive, he lived like an aristocrat, mocked the police on a daily basis, but when his country was in need, he immediately became a patriot. And over time, he was less of a burglar and more of a detective who, behind the backs of the law enforcement officers, corrected their mistakes and explained, so far, the unsolved mysteries. Thus, he actually became the French equivalent of Sherlock Holmes, and even in a few stories, the figure of the most famous detective actually appeared. For example, in the History Fry, Sherlock Holmes arrives too late, and young Arsene Lupin meets him for the first time on his way. It is worth noting that Arthur Conan Doyle did not like this, who directly demanded the removal of a character known from his books. However, Mr. LeBlanc did not intend to do so, and merely decided to change his name to Sherlock Holmes. Anyway, he returned to the subsequent novels. Dr. Wilson, the equivalent of Dr. Watson, appeared at his side, otherwise LeBlanc did not portray him as an infallible detective. And so, in the novel 813, he's unable to solve a criminal mystery, which Arsene Lupin finally succeeds. Coming back to him, this character not only entered French pop culture, but also inspired over 20 films. It all started in 1908 with the silent production of The Gentleman Burglar, and then there were famous films from the 1930s and 40s, and they were made in more modern times as well, as exemplified by Arsène Lupin from 2004 with Romain Duris in the lead role. The stories about Lupin were also adapted for television many times. And in Poland, for example, the French series with Georges de Crier was quite popular in the 90s, and now the newest produced for Netflix is breaking records. Before we go to it, however, we must also mention that Arsene is also the hero of the comic book series. He appeared in video games, and in one of them his opponent was none other than Sherlock Holmes. And he was even seen in a Japanese anime fairy tale known as Lupin III. It is not without reason that we had just said the new series which appeared on the streaming platform on January 8th has already become a record. Lupin with a few years of its premiere, in America itself, jumped to the third most watched series on Netflix, and no other French production has ever managed to do so, and it is easy to guess that in the country where it was produced, it immediately became number one. In France, the book Arsène Lupin is a cult figure. As Omar Sy himself mentioned during an interview for Variety Weekly, the actor said, we quote, Lupin is so French that you cannot grow up on scene and not know who he is. Can people who have not dealt with Maurice Leblanc's novel before on the screen see the hero he described in the book? 
The answer to this question is yes and no, but we are in a hurry to explain. In the novels, Luplain, as mentioned, was a master of disguise and a man with a thousand faces, but when he faced his alter ego as a gentleman, he always wore a top hat, a black cape on his shoulders and a stylish monocle on his eye, and white gloves on his hands. We must also mention that the neatly trimmed mustache, and in such an addition, he could be seen on the covers of novels with his adventures and mostly film adaptations. Therefore, for people who associate this this iconic appearance, it may be a big surprise to see that the actor in the main role of the Netflix series, who is far from the above description. However, this is not a mistake, but a deliberate attempt to the creators, who clearly invented that the hero of the film will not be Arsene Lupin himself, but a contemporary admirer of the follower named Asan Dio. Omar Sy, cast in this role, is already getting great feedback. Anyway, it is worth mentioning that he's one of the most popular actors and comedians currently working in France. Many of you will remember him from the 2012 movie The Untouchables, and it was thanks to Omar's career that it gained momentum. And he's already had such great achievements, such as being in X-Men, Jurassic World, and his newest role is another proof that the actor does not lack talent, as well as his ability to impersonate each character. In the Netflix production, he's not the famous Arsene Lupin, but his adventures are heavily inspired by the novels. And anyway, the book by Maurice LeBlanc can be seen more than once in the hands of the series of Asan because he received it as a gift from his father, Babakar. When the latter is later sent to prison, accused of stealing a precious necklace, there, disgraced, he decides to take his own life. And as it turns out, he was framed for the whole robbery, so the son, like the hero from the book, decides to avenge his death. And there is a good opportunity for this because the necklace subtly finds itself and it's auctioned at the Louvre in Paris. Okay, so maybe we won't reveal any more details about the plot of this series as we don't want to spoil your viewing pleasure. We will only note that the theme is of the stolen necklace and the revenge, so actually it appears in the book about the gentleman burglar. Just as it is in Lupin, it takes a different identity every now and then, and we can see the series Asan in many characterizations. There is also spectacular escapes, thefts, and chases. The protagonist wants to take revenge on a wealthy family that contributed to the tragedy of his life. Exactly as it could be read in the novel, the series is a dusted off version of the classic story about a policeman and a thief, where every viewer will certainly have a great time. Its creators are winking to all the fans of Maurice LeBlanc's stories thanks to the cleverly interwoven quotes and dialogues, which will be an additional pleasure to catch while watching. And those who previously had no opportunity to reach the written adventures of Arsène Lupin, perhaps the production will encourage them. And finally, we will add that the second season of the series has already been confirmed, and this is just another proof of how Netflix's Lupin appeared to viewers. And you curious? Have you had the opportunity to watch it already? Be sure to share your comments below, and have you heard of Arsène Lupin and his adventures before? Or maybe, thanks to our episode, you will want to meet them. Let us know in the comments, and don't forget about the subscription, thumbs up, and to turn on the notifications. And as always, we shall see you in the next episode.